take a look around and see which statues represent liberty and freedom. Recognize that they are all women and understand that that is correct. These are the words that Amy was told on a metro in Washington, D.C. when she was offered a seat by a retired attorney. She had been chosen in her junior year by the Hispanic National Bar Foundation to go to Washington, D.C. And, and figure out what a career in law would look like. She was with the future Latino leaders, trying to grapple with the decision of whether to be a lawyer like she wanted to be, or a doctor like the rest of her family. One memorable moment while she was here was when she was able to stand up to the Secretary of Labor as, she was, as he was making an anti-immigration statement to which she responded, if these people, meaning immigrants, want to represent America, then we should consider them American. She said this interaction helped her feel a further calling towards this, career, this line of work, and she's therefore been pursuing it further. This drive is to be an immigration attorney and to bridge the gap between the American and the Hispanic communities in America. She's incredibly proud of her heritage as she's Cuban and Nicaraguan, and she wants to extend that pride to people of a similar background. One instance where she was able to do this was when she was working for an immigration law firm as a call receiver. This meant she would pick up calls and listen to the stories of immigrants, and she'd write them down and relay them to her boss. She said this interaction helped her overcome her fear of speaking on the phone, as well as it allowed her to give compassion in a place where compassion had often been lacking. She values generosity and is willing to go above and beyond for others, and her faith inspires her to do so. She wants to be able to love like Christ loved, in a place where love is often lacking. She's also inspired by her mother, and her mother helps push her to be strong in her academics and in her line of work. For instance, she said that she, like Amy said, she likes to know little facts about a wide range of topics in order to relay them in conversation and gauge the audience's reaction. She also is inspired by her parents' story. Her mother and father were immigrants to this country and came with little to nothing. And her mother was able to rise up and become the manager of a hospital and is currently in the process of getting a bachelor's degree. She's therefore been inspired to defend people with a similar background in a line of lawyering because she knows what it's like. Her family's history taught her from a young age that bravery is a choice and strength is something you get from withstanding the trials of life. Amy has grown to become a woman who is courageous and ambitious, willing to defend the defenseless and love those who are in need of being loved. She has also grown to be a woman who is incredibly proud of her background and desires to spread that pride to people of a similar background to her. Amy was told on a metro in Washington, D.C., that the women, that women are the people who represent freedom. And with her drive for justice, she will also be a woman who represents liberty. Next, all she'll need is a statue. Thank you.